Welcome to our first lecture and the topic is introduction to computer and how it works. So before going into the detail, let's see some important things. Before learning a programming language, there are certain things to remember. Every programming language takes its time. You cannot grasp it instantly. So every beginner panics, but you do not need to worry much. You can revise lecture and if still you feel that you are not understanding it, feel free to ask me. Plus you can also google the concept and sufficient help of C++ is available on the internet. Next point is, we cannot jump to programming right in the first lecture. First we will understand the basic concepts regarding computer system, types of programming languages and how a computer executes a program. Then we will start coding. This theoretical part is essential to understand before learning the language as it gives you a strong foundation required before learning it. Every programming language needs patience. Sometimes you have to read about the same concept thrice and you get its point. First few lectures seem difficult but if you keep on trying then your determination and not giving up behavior is the key to success. Doing assignments and quizzes will make you learn programming language. There is no shortcut to it. So do the assignments and quizzes wholeheartedly if you really want to benefit yourself from the course. See glossary carefully as some basic terms of computer which are difficult to understand by a beginner are listed there. A glossary is given in the start of this lecture. So first we look at the content of the course. We will study what are computers, what are the components of the computers, and how a computer works. The lecture is optional for users who have prior knowledge about basic computer system and it's working. But our first quiz will contain information about computers. As this course is designed for absolute beginners, so we are just starting from the scratch. And we will get to know what are computers, what are its different components and how a computer works. Now first of all, we have a question. Which devices form a computer system? Well, the answer is, every computer system has input devices such as keyboard and mouse which are used to enter data. It has output devices, for example, this screen which is used to show data. The speakers are used to hear audio and printer is also an output device because we can get printout from it. Furthermore, every computer has a system unit which is actually the brain of the computer and it performs all the main operations that the computer does. Now glossary or the basic terms for the beginner are as follows. First we have the term input. Whatever user enters in the computer, mouse click or keyboard button. That is basically the input of the computer. User enters or provides data through input devices, for example, mouse, keyboard, mic, scanner, etc. Now next we come to the concept of output. Output is whatever is provided by the computer to the user, such as whatever is shown on the computer screen, or you can say that the printout from the printer is also a computer output. Computer shows results through output devices, for example, monitor screen, printer, etc., as you can see on the screen. The next term is processing. The services that the computer is providing, for example, operations on data like calculating sum using paint software, playing videos, etc. So these are all the services that computer is offering you using its brain that is a system unit and these services are known as the processing of a computer. Now execution or processing are almost one and the same thing. Running anything on computer for example running commands in command line, opening software or programs, playing games, using browser like Google Chrome or Firefox to use internet playing movie, playing songs, etc. They all come under the heading of execution. 
So now we will see how does the computer work. Now let's understand the computer working by looking at the customer tailor example. The customer wants to stitch her clothes. So the cloth is in raw form. She provides them to the tailor. The tailor takes the unstitched cloth and process it using his sewing machine. Means he stitches the cloth and finally convert the raw cloth into a stitched shirt. Once done, tailor provides it back to the customer after processing it and now it is a stitched shirt. So computer works in the same way as shown in the second figure. Computer user enters number to be added through keyboard and asks computer to calculate its sum. Computer takes the data and uses its system to calculate sum of numbers. And once done, it returns the sum to the user by showing on the output screen. So if we analyze both the situations, we can understand the similarity. Just like the customer provides unstitched clothes, so the user, the computer user, also provides or enters data to be added. The tailor stitches clothes using the sewing machine. So the computer also adds number and calculates its sum using the system unit. Once done, just like tailor provides the clothes back to the customer, so in the same way, the computer provides the output to the user, which is actually the sum of the number. So computer works in this way getting input and then processing it and then producing output to the user. I hope you understand the basic working of a computer. Now we will see how the computer is working in this scenario. First of all, input is taken by the computer user using mouse, mic or keyboard as shown on the screen. Now data comes to the system unit. To perform some operations over it. But the question is where can we find the system unit in a laptop? So the answer is it's placed under the keyboard. Once operation is performed means data is added. The data is shown to the user using the output devices like monitor, screen, printer, speaker, etc. Now the question is, how does the computer work here? Very simple answer. User enters two numbers and asks computer to calculate its sum. System unit calculates sum and sum is shown on the computer screen. So our next question is, how system unit works and which components are in it? So now let's look for the answer. CPU. This is actually the brain of the computer. It performs all operations like addition, subtractions, etc. Next comes the storage. Storage is the place where computer stores data, just like a cupboard is used to store clothes. Computer places or saves data over here and gets it back once needed. Hard disk and USB are the examples of a storage device. Next is the RAM. RAM is the memory or storage of the computer where computer places data while working on it. If computer is not working on a data, then that data will not be placed in the RAM. For example, when the computer is adding numbers, only at that time data is brought to RAM memory and once results are calculated, data is taken out from this place. So it is a temporary memory of the computer and if the computer is turned off, data in the RAM memory is lost. So now let's revise what is a computer. Computer is a device that takes input, processes it and provides output. So I hope you understand the definition of computer very well now. Now let's look at some example to understand computer working efficiently. The first task is the file search procedure. So here user input is equal to the name of the file to be searched and the user asks the computer to search just like we use the window search. Now computer does the processing which in this case is to search the file on the storage 
which is the hard disk in this case. And then the computer shows file location on the screen as an output. So here the user can see the file name and its location. So let's look at another example of opening Google Chrome. So here user input is equal to double click of mouse on the Google Chrome icon placed on the desktop which requests the computer to open the program. So now computer does the processing which in this case is to open Google Chrome and show on the screen as an output. So now the user can see the output through the output device in this case which is the computer screen. Now we look at the summary. We discuss the topic what is a computer, what are the components of a computer and how a computer works. So in the next lecture we will discuss what is programming language and types of programming language. Thank you for your time. If you have any problem then you can let me know through the messaging service. Thanks again.